Okay, this is going to be part three of uh, making air point. I did part one and part two, and this is pressure flaking them and notching them. If you bear with me, give me a little of your time, I'm going to show you the easy way of notching some point types. I hate notching. Well, I don't hate it now, but boy, I used to hate notching. It was tearing me up. Man, I'd get a point fitted and start notching and break the ear off it. That ain't, that's not fun when you put all that work time and effort in one and break it. But uh, after several years, I got the hang of it, but I never liked doing it. Uh, the thing that helped me most with notching was magnifying glasses. Boy, you could see a little sharp edge. You could get a plate to come off of those things. Oh, no way you could see them with just natural vision. It magnifies them so pretty. I'd stall a notch out, go get my magnifying glasses and put them on. Oh boy, I never would have seen that little spot right there. Put a little sharp pressure flake or something in it and pop it and wham, it's gone. Got, got it started again. I hope you can see this all right. I'm just going down to make a continuous platform. And I've got right here a real bad spot on the edge. It's not that bad, but it's like a hinge that way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to come down here and get behind it and take it out. Pressure flake it. I'll show you what I mean. Down this edge real good. I'm going to get up on top of it up here, way up on top, and push this way. I said in my video, I think it was about part one and part two of making an arrowhead airport, that uh, I probably will not make any more finished points. And I, and I might make a few, but I'm not going to make any, like to sell or anything like that. Uh, it's, uh, it's just not fun anymore. Uh, I make a bunch of them and I'm hurting so bad when I get through it, it's not worth it. Big old thick spot right there on that tip. I'm trying to remove all the high places first before I start trying to run a pattern and it's real high right here. I'm gonna come back over here, try to come across this way. Might take a little of the tip off doing it. I hope not, because I gotta put a lot of pressure for that joker. I'm trying to break your tip off if you're not careful. I'm trying to keep it in the air there where won't break it off. That's done pretty good there. I did all right. And come back on this side. We can get this side to do good. Next pass we make on this side, it ought to get it all out of there pretty good. I've been careful playing with that little needle point tip I'm making. Because this is on the thick part too. See, I held it up in there and didn't let it touch nothing. Oh! Boy, I had a flake around that pressure flake and I just run it in that hard, man. I went to shoving it like driving a nail through it. Oh, man, that hurts. <laughs> Get a little higher up on my hand up on where it won't hit. That spot.
okay. I'm gonna try to start kind of running a little flakes all the way across. This is smooth air from percussion, don't have any float stars on it. Just try to decorate it up so with some float stars from pressure flake. I'm gonna make a continuous platform through here. I'm pulling this edge up. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm making a continuous platform. I got videos explaining that extremely well. I think, might not be, but to me it's one of the best videos I've done on explaining it. All right, we'll cover it off this platform. Platform is where you put your tool on there. If it's, if it's a percussion hammer, a pressure flake, whatever platform, where you set your tool up and pull that flake off. Push it off, pull it off, whatever you want to do. Try and run these halfway across, which is hard for me. It used to didn't be it used to have to run one over an inch long, but I just can't do it no more. And I know somebody said, "Well, use the issue stick." Well, my issue stick's right there. I use it on bigger stuff, longer stuff. But uh, I just like this little small pressure plate holding little points. This stick seems like it's kind of I don't know where to use awkward or or uh, clumsy. Like using it on these little small points. Probably just me. That edge crushed right there on the platform. I guess there's a little low spot there and I didn't get it dull with my grinding rock. There we go. You gotta see it. Okay, we're gonna do this side over here. And then we're gonna show you how to notch this baby. It, to me, it's the easiest way of notching a point. Now, it's not the deep notching. You're gonna see what I'm talking about. It's deep, but not what, what you're thinking. It's like a side notch. Make kind of a side notch style for it. Oh, I'm getting too low for you to see. I'm sorry about that. Let me raise this up just a little bit, maybe. Maybe it'll help some. I get on when I get on. I get to keep it up in view. I'm trying to get it out here where you can see it. But when it's sticking hard, and it's really hit thick, but now the days it is to me. I gotta get out of here where I lean my body over into it. My muscles are just not strong anymore. I'm losing a lot of muscle mass. And uh I'm just just not there.
Okay. There's one little spot there I want to try to get out. It's fine. Just a little dip in there before a percussion plate kind of dove down in there and scooped up like scooping out of ice cream. Just a little hollow area there. Not hurting a thing. But the problem with us, we try to make them perfect as we can. We don't know when to fold them. We hold them too long. I'm gonna see what I can do with it. Probably gonna break my point trying to get it out, do about right. I'm starting right here. And I'm running my plates this way instead of crazy off. Trying to come in behind this low spot. I'm trying to dig in low behind it. That plate went right there and that's the low spot. That plate worked perfect for what I'm trying to do if I can get the rest of them to do it. So that'll come out okay. And I'm gonna try to go this way. If you notice, them, will be pointing down. Good one. Same thing, going across here, but I'm already behind it. It's out. <laughs> I thought I'd have to cut probably for the other side to get it out, but, but it's out. But I'm going to cut for the other side and uh, make the pattern me to look a little better. I don't have to on that either. Be careful down here, I don't break my tip off. Trying to get a real sharp tip on it. There we go. Now when I'm looking at it, the tip runs this way. I need to straighten that up. Take a little off right here. Then we'll come down right here. Try to take some off. Trying to make a needle. I'm talking about a needle, needle point right here. Trying to get it balanced too. That baby, that baby stick in you right there. All right, I'm gonna thin my base. We're gonna show you how to knife it real quick. We'll be over with. I'm gonna call in the dog. Pour coffee on the fire and clean the hunts over with. All right, let's stay in the base. I'm gonna shape it up. It's kind of going this way right here. And uh, I'm gonna round it off. I notice I got my camera too high too. Uh, I can't see all of it. I won't, I won't put the video on nothing. I'll just do another video seeing it later on.
I'm trying to get this head straight. This one's on a 45, so I'm come in and make it a little narrow so it'll be straight. Got a little bend in the edge right here. Straighten it out. Okay, that's a pretty nice triangle right there. That's a pretty nice triangle. So now I'm gonna show you how to how to notch it. It's, it's, it's gonna be a side notch and it's not gonna be in there entry. But to me, making arrow points is the easiest way to make arrow points fast. Even to hunt with. I take the round part of this and I lay it right there and I just go straight across with it. Gonna leave a little U right in there. Now turn it over this way. Get on that edge. Lock it down. Give him the round part again. Come back this way. Round it again. There's your notch. Now for a side notch point to hunt with, you're not trying to duplicate any particular point. This is just real easy and works good. Especially if you begin a napper and you're trying to make your arrowhead to hunt with. There you go. Now what I like to do is uh, come in the middle here, kind of make a little bowl shape, you shape in the base here, but your arrowhead, your uh, the tip of your, your wooden shaft can slide up in here. Makes it real steady, it won't, won't wobble on you. See, it's real easy to glue and bind down like this, what I'm trying to say. And I just grind this with my pressure flaker like this, come back over like this. There you go. Hope y'all enjoyed the short video.